Dr. Stan Karoff. I'm a professor at the University of Pennsylvania and a psychiatrist at the Michael J. Crescent's VA Medical Center in Philadelphia. I'm very glad to participate today to talk about uh, uh, tardive dyskinesia and recent studies that are being done to really document the impact of tardive dyskinesia on people's everyday lives. Tardive dyskinesia occurs very commonly in more, more than a quarter of patients in these outpatient practices. You can identify it and rate it with a very simple scale in a very simple way just by visual observation. And more importantly, they found by a number of different measures that tardive dyskinesia has a significant impact on patients' uh, health-related quality of life and on their ability to function. That, that's a real big finding uh, compared to the conventional wisdom that TD uh, doesn't bother people a lot. But in, in this study, uh, clearly the patients who had tardive dyskinesia had a lot more difficulty functioning than the people who did not have these movements. Uh, and, and the other th important take home message is uh, since the, the, their, their impression of how much it affected their lives was consistent with how they viewed have, how severe their TD was, but wasn't terribly consistent with the doctor's rating, it's important in practice for, for doctors to include the patient's perception of how much this problem affected them. So it's not enough for the doctor to look at the patient, it's important, but it's not enough for the doctor to say, well, the patient has movements you know, that are moderate or mild, or mild but uh, for the patient, even a mild tardive dyskinesia may have a significant effect on their occupation, uh, the social relations, their ability to take care of themselves, their ability to work and be productive. So that when you're, a doctor's making an assessment of how severe or significant this side effect is, you really need to in, ask the patient a lot of questions and the caregivers and the families about how, how they see the tardive dyskinesia and how much it affects their lives because it may be very different from the doctor's perception. And uh, so even a mild tardive dyskinesia that a doctor may feel doesn't need to be treated because it doesn't significantly affect the patient's life, actually from the patient's point of view, <laughs> it may be catastrophic. So in practice, we need to do more about involving patients and caregivers in decisions about treatment of tardive dyskinesia.